Hello, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. We have some beautiful journals to look at today. To be inspired by today, I'm really excited. I have two beautiful artists and their beautiful work to introduce to you today. And then a couple of things that I've made in my shop, and I'm going to kind of just mix everything up and just kind of, I don't know, grab and show, grab and show. So I'm really excited about finishing up all of the journals from 2020. I uh, believe, if I'm not mistaken, there are four boxes left after this. And then we will get right into the Challenge 1 journals. And what I will do is I will write down everybody in that um, block, <laughs> everyone who sent in journals during that time period, uh, the challenge one time period. They don't have to be challenge journals, but I will write everybody's name down and post that on the Facebook group. And I can't, I'm not going to actually say the exact order I'm going to go in because it's hard to do that from day to day. I don't always know whether I need to grab a small box, a big box, but all of those journals will be gone through and shared before we start uh, challenge two, the next group. However, I will announce challenge two uh, probably next week or the week after once we start the first challenge. That way you have enough time to start creating and getting more boxes to me. So we have a good system going here, I think. Um, and I hope that will keep everybody shown within their time frame. That's, that's the idea anyway. So these journals are, well, this journal is from Deb Harris. And this is called Golden Honeycomb. What a beautiful color scheme, very golden tones. And you could put a beautiful um, image on the front if you wanted to. This is like a, I'm guessing faux leather. It, it, I'm not, I don't know very well about the difference, but <laughs> I'm guessing it's faux leather. It could be real leather. And then we have little metal corners and it's called Golden Honeycomb. I'm excited. Ooh. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is fabric lined. So right away, we know that this is durable. We're not going, we have leather and we have fabric and it opens decently. So we know this is well made and it's awesome. Look how pretty that owl is. Wow. It was a simple unassuming cover but look at how sweet these pages are. So either it's going to hide really well as a book on the shelf, or you can decorate that cover up. Look how pretty the little golden honeycomb is a beautiful name for this one. Look at those ledger papers. Coffee dyed papers cute little pocket. Very nice. Gorgeous color scheme. This would be the type of journal I would love to work in. Just enough inspiration to get you started, but plenty of room to add your own flair. Look at there, you have a little hidden note papers in there. Gorgeous got pockets for tucking things. So golden honeycomb from Deb. And you can always swap out closures on journals if you prefer a lacy look. I think this closure goes well with this leather here, but if you wanted to um, make it more girly, you could add that. All right. So that was Deb. Here's another Deb. I think this is another Deb. Look at that cover, the applique, scrapbook paper. There's a lot of texture here. Gorgeous. This is called Pretty Pink Roses. And she's used some Graphics Fairy. And I see the fabric in here again. So we know this is going to hold together. Ooh, fabric tag. Gorgeous. Pretty. There's a pretty little lace pocket you can tuck things into. Enjoy the little things. Yes, it's a good sentiment. Enjoy the little things. Last night, after I had already packed lunches and everything, my boy's school is canceled because of icy roads. 
and uh, so they're home today. So we get to enjoy the little things um, about them being home and just, you know, working through um, things that are unplanned. Love having them home, but when you've planned for a productive, quiet day at home, you have to switch gears and enjoy the little things. I'm sure that happens to all of us from time to time. Some little project life cards. Family is forever. Little notebook. Some ledger paper. So very, very useful journal. And this, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Probably if I purchased this journal, I would take this and maybe line some, put it on the edge of some pages or use it in another project. And I'd use a little bit longer uh, ribbon for a closure just because I adore this ribbon. Oh, but it does look so pretty on there, doesn't it? All right, we're gonna take a quick break and I'm gonna show you a couple of my supplies and then we will go back. That way, if you're not able to watch the whole video, you get a little smattering of everything. These are fussy cut roses. I will count how many and put it in the listing, but they're they're cut out of a rose book. I believe it's a vintage book. I think it's from the 80s, maybe the 90s, but all different roses, mostly whites and pinks, perfect for your journals and layering and collage. So a whole bunch of those. And they come in a little glassine bag, so of course reuse that bag in a journal. And then I have some snippets. Now this was fun. This was, um, I'm trying to remember who I was inspired by. Uh, totally different from what I saw, but adding a bead. So what I've done is it's just little piece, I think it's a Robinson Crusoe book page, just boring book page. I've added some washi. Then I've stamped this little girl. I love this stamp. I've stamped her on parchment paper. Lonnie gave me some cut off parchment uh, cardstock. Love it. And then I used some watercolor to color in her dress, her collar, and her bow. And then there's a blue cardstock circle, a little bit of fabric, sorry silk, and a little bead sewn on and then glued. So I'm going to show you here in my example journal that Michelle made me what you can do with it. So you can put it on the edge of a page. You can make a little tuck spot. Um, you can, there's so many places you can just add it. Here's like a beautiful little pocket. You could stick it on a pocket like that. And these are little beads, little white beads. They don't add a whole bunch of bulk, so that's nice. So there's, it's just a set of them. I think there's eight, but I'll put the exact number in the listing. Maybe there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six. I think I stamped eight of them, but there's six in this book page snippets. Okay, before we go back to Deb, I want to show you some of the other artists. That way, like I said, if you can't stay for the whole video, you get to see a little bit of everything. This is a traveler's notebook size, and I love the fun cover. Everything from like a little wax seal, fabric, flowers, vintage papers, washi tape. You got it all. And this is from... Is it Garnell or Ganell? Ganell, I think is how you pronounce it. G-A-N-E-L-L. Ganell, that's my guess. Blooming Love is what this one is called. Pretty gorgeous. I love this size journal too. Ooh, it's got a grungy feel to it. Isn't that beautiful? Like little bits of stamping right along with the coffee dyed paper. Heads up, this is going to be a long video. We have a lot of journals and supplies. So if you need to pause it and go get a cup of coffee, I say go right ahead. I just finished my coffee before I started. Map. Pretty. Got cards you can use. You're going to hear my boys in the background. Like I said, enjoy the little things little snippets of paper you can use. Oh, what a cute playing card. How adorable. You all know I have a thing for playing cards. They're so fun. She signed it. Very nice. Love it. 
And if you are a traveler's notebook person where you like to put it in covers, this would work. Or if you just like to use them like I, I have in the past, just by themselves. So that one is from Ganell. And then we will take a trip down memory lane and back to Santa Claus here for a second to look at a Christmas one she made. I show Christmas journals year round because, well, who doesn't love a little bit of Christmas spirit? You can go ahead and grab it for when you need it. Give a little package of tags and goodies. I go pretty quickly through them if we are in the off season, which is probably... January through beginning of September. Um, but cute. This I would use for a Christmas planning. I love the length of the pages and you can write out gifts. You can write out um, shopping lists and menu planning and all of that. So personally, I wouldn't use this as a December daily. I would use it as a Christmas planning journal. And then I would save it and be able to pull it out the next year so that I could see what I planned the year before and see, you know, did I want to change anything or not? Let's circle back around to the lovely Deb. And I'm intrigued by this fabric. Not only is the texture incredible, look at those colors. And for those of you who are getting used to my new guidelines for this year, for 2021, this is what I mean by a standalone fabric. So um, we're not doing blank covers, you know, just a piece of scrapbook paper or a piece of fabric without embellishing it, unless they are standalone. This is standalone, stand out. It's incredible. So that's just an example of what I mean by you don't need to put anything on the front of a cover. This is called Pretty Flower Fabric by Deb. And if I haven't mentioned it yet, my website is linked in the description box below. And you can find all the journals shown if they haven't sold yet. You can find them under Marketplace Journals. You can find the supplies that I'm showing today under Lindsay's Supplies. This is one of my paper packs. It's called William Morris Wallpaper. Assuming she got it from there, but since it is a William Morris print, you know, she may have found it somewhere else. This is wallpaper. It's textured. And look at the beauties. Oh, wow, Deb. You've added some beautiful things to this. Look at the butterfly paper with a little bit of glitter. Got tuck spots. Beautiful. Definitely my style of journal. I love how you can finish it in about a month and go right on to something new. Love it. I'm extremely drawn to this. It is beautiful. And would you look at this one she did and look at the stitching. I've never seen that someone do that. It's just this beautiful fabric, but look at how she did the leaf stitching just to accent it and to pop that white. That is beautiful. And then of course, having an amazing sari silk closure. Wow. Okay, I'm excited to see this. Oh, well, and that was the back. Here we go. Okay, that was the back. This is the front. It's called Autumn Plaid. Ooh, graphics fairy. Look at the belly band. How beautiful. Butterflies. How <laughs> cute. This is definitely my style, too. I think that, Deb, you've captured our hearts in a lot of ways here with your creativity. I love all these different papers. It is perfect for writing. If you don't want a lot of distraction, but you want a lot of different surfaces, then you have some little beautiful bits as well. Gorgeousness. Little bee paper thrown in there. Ooh, so this could be a bookmark. It could be a belly band. You could even take it out if you're a reader. You could take it out and use it in the book you're reading because it's that beautiful, right? Okay, so like I said, we're kind of rotating around. We're gonna look at some more supplies. So this is something, again, I made. And these are collaged journal cards. So the base, um, book pages, The there's thickness to this. You can, it's not super thick, but enough that you're not just flopsy, okay? So it's, Book pages glued together in the middle and then paper on the back that you can write on. 
images collaged up and then these little postage stamp images. These are from Seneca Pond Crafts, I believe. You can see I have collaged up all different sizes. The backs are all, you're able to write on them. Different, beautiful different sizes whole bunch of them ready to go in your journals. Now they could be journal cards. They could be, I'm not advocating you put a f picture on this because this is, you know, standalone, but you could. Okay. So it could be a front image. It could be a tuck spot, right? Or it could just be a journal card tucked into a pocket. So very versatile and you get a whole bunch of them. And they come in a little bag, so of course you can reuse the bag. Here's a set of big tags. These are a retro Valentine theme, and yeah, I'm a little late to the game since Valentine's Day is over, but these are adorable. So I'm putting them in there. They're big tags, three and a half by eight, I believe. They're collaged. They have a vintage. These are from Graphics Fairy. And then the backs, just vintage um, patchwork book pages. You can eat, You can write on most of them but just collaged up. Be my sweetheart. Happy Valentine's Day. My love has blossomed for you. Be my Valentine. Honestly, you can probably use them year round in your journals or save them for next Valentine's Day or cover them up or do whatever you want, but they're adorable. Okay. So let's go back to Ganelle. We're going to go back to Christmas and see this one, the Christmas tree that grew. We've got cute little jingle bells. It's a little golden book. You have some goodies in here. Yeah, little golden book, the Christmas tree. And mm, I love that coffee dyed effect. Really nice with a little golden book. So lots of places to write. Lots of Christmas... Um, Christmassy things be so much fun to do your Christmas memory keeping in. Love the red stitching that adds a lot. It's beautiful. So, you know, if you want to set it aside for next Christmas, what a beautiful, beautiful gift to yourself that would be. So that was from Gamel. And then these little three ones are two. Look at how cute they are. And that cover. So cute. Just little. And the sweetness. Just a, it's a small little version, right? Some of the paper here is cracking. That's totally fine. You have fabric here. It's not going to do anything. Totally fine. It just adds to the grunge of it, in my opinion. So there's three of them. There's this one. And this one has a cute little bird. Look at that spine. How cute. The fabric. Oh, love it. A lot of pages in here. A lot of pages to work on. Three chunky signatures. Really nice. It feels really good too. Like you want to squish it. Beautiful cover. And then I will list these all separately. You can pick the one you want. This one here. Gorgeous little dangle. See a lot of butterflies in here. Ooh, green paper. Beautiful. Lots of greens, pretty. Cute. So those are from Ganelle. I hope I'm saying her name right. All right, move those out of the way. My dog's barking at craziness out there. All right, I'm trying to figure out where we are now. I think we're back to Deb. Aim to be mermazing. Look at that cover from Deb. Wow. The cheesecloth, the ribbon. Look at those old buttons. Gorgeous. 
Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Mermaids by the Sea. Oh, she used my digital sand and sea. And then she's used some graphics fairy. So I'm excited. Oh, it looks like ocean music too. You can get those on my website, sand and sea. Look at how beautiful. This is one of mine too. I think this is um, ancient textiles. I think this is a good time of year to get our mermaid or beach themed journal. It can be an excellent gift for somebody too. How pretty. The blues are gorgeous. You have some gorgeous journal cards. Really cute. I think she might have used my ephemera pack washed ashore too. Got some beautiful pages for writing on. So lovely. There's sand and sea. Sand and sea. Sand and sea. Look at just how she's paired colors. Gorgeousness. Beautiful cover. So that's from Deb. All right. We're getting there. This is from Deb too. Well, we'll look at both of these. These are the last two from Deb and they are Reader's Digest covers. Look at the fern on there. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. August challenge. Hmm. <laughs> we are a little past that. Don't know. The book was not marked. So I am not sure about that but we can still look at it. Not the book was not marked. I meant the box was not marked. So obviously I did not know, but I'll, maybe Deb, you can remind me what happened there. I think it was my fault, probably. Your fault for not putting it on the box. My fault for not realizing it. I don't know, but what a gorgeous. So there's the on my desk paper pack. Um, old books, paper pack. They're mine. Book love from Joanne. Now her digitals script and lace for me are all over on junk journal treasures on Etsy. So book love, you have to get that over there. Gorgeous. What a beautiful journal. So, so sad. It didn't get shown in August. However, now we're not tired of that theme. So maybe it's a good thing pretty that is. And that leather spine again. Another August challenge. Okay, well, this is February, so obviously <laughs> it got missed. Old books, but look at how pretty. Book love. Go to Junk Journal Treasures on Etsy for that. So pretty. Script and Lace, that's mine. Look at that, just lovely. Book Love from Joanne, Script and Lace. Look at that, gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm really honored to still be able to see this and get it in the shop. How beautiful, Deb. Okay, so that's all of Deb's. Let's finish up Ganelle's. Here is another traveler's little notebook journal and vintage romance is what it is called. Let's see if I can set that down enough. Again, gorgeous grungy papers. If you love that grunge. This is a washi taped on. What I think of is using it as a stencil. You just take it off and use it as a stencil. That'd be wonderful. Get those beautiful butterflies. Just kind of like a little homemade stencil. Fun. Okay. And then I think she has one more and then I have a few more supplies to show you and we will wrap up today's video. The Big Elephant. It is a little golden book with the cutest buttons on the spine. And 
the big elephant. How cute. Perfect for maybe a kid getting into junk journaling. And you give them this book and then you show them how they can glue in it and they can write their thoughts and their wishes. You have some beautiful vintage papers. Look at how pretty that is. That mixed media page there. Dyed pages they can write on. Look at these beautiful vintage children's pages. That would be a ton of fun as a gift. The little vintage book cover. That's what we have for journalists today. Um, I have some few more supplies I'm going to show you. And I really want to encourage you to look through the whole marketplace. I've just put some more journals on sale. So you can get um, some really nice journals for a good price right now. So check that out. Help support my artists. And here we go. These are, um, well, they could be tags. They could be journal cards. They could be tuck spots. Um, you can write on the back of them. It's a book page base. And then they're collaged up with these gorgeous flowers on them. Um, I got these flowers from creativefabrica.com. Um, and they were, they were just fun just to fussy cut them out and to put them on. There's wallpapers and scrapbook papers and uh, prints, like digital prints that I've printed out. They're really pretty. Love this set. They came out really well. They've got some strength to them. They're not flimsy. Can you tell I've been using up scraps? Here is a set of pockets, tuck spot pockets. So the backs are not finished and that is one, you don't want to add any more bulk, um, but it's so that you can put it on a page you just glue it down like that. And of course you could leave this corner up to tuck here as well, but it's meant to just be glued down on a page. And then here's your pocket. And then there's a collaged journal card tucked in there. Some lace, a little My Porch Prints um, label, some buttons there with some thread. And I have a set of four of them here. I have a little Tim Holtz word on this one. Here's the journal card. And then this one, that was like a punch out from some kid I got a long time ago. Love that textured wallpaper and the gold script. That beautiful, look at the texture here. Oh, so pretty. And of course you can add a central image if you want. So those are just meant to be glued onto a page set of four. Here's another set, but these do not have a journal card. So they are just the pockets. There's five of them, again, meant to glue on a page, just like I showed you. And then here's a piece of cardstock that I have stitched around as a blank label. This is for you to put your favorite sentiment, your favorite word, a date, a name, something like that. And then you could like tuck photos in here or something. So there's that one. There's this one. This is wallpaper. This one, I love the little Victoria Designs, little note paper in the back there. And this one, have some dyed paper I did here, wallpaper. Some gorgeous scrapbook paper and wallpaper. Oh, gotta add a little more glue to that one. It's funny that different wallpapers, I will have to get my glue, different wallpapers will react differently to different glues sometime, sometimes. It'll hold great and then it won't. So I'll just add a different glue to that. No problem. Oh, I loved making this set. Again, they're a book page base. There's three of them and I'll show you how I thought about using these. So the backs are not finished, right? So you glue it down just like that. Again, there's a little label for you to write what you want. It's all um, collaged up. There's some stamping. And then there's a big tag. You can write on it. Isn't that gorgeous? So the fun part about the base of this tag is it's from a scrapbook paper, like the front page that shows the different papers. And then I've covered up the branding with just this stamped cardstock, and I've added a sweet little image. And this image is from People Image Club. I've printed it very small, but People Image Club that Lonnie and I have. And then here's this one, this bird one. 
And this is a uh, sticker as a main image there. You can write on that. And then there's this one right there. Got a gorgeous image. This is from one of my ephemera packs. I don't remember which one, honestly. It was a scrap I had left over. All layered up. And then you tuck the tag in. These were so much fun to make. Using up scraps, using up book pages. And if you think I'm done, not quite yet. This was fun too. So the backs again, not finished, meant to be glued down. I'll show you one on here, like meant to be glued down, okay? And it's a pocket, collaged, so big book page back. It is collaged, inked, and then there's a piece of washi tape. This is from my last video in Love Arts. I showed this washi tape, but I've added some of that. And then there is a printed bingo card. I don't remember exactly where I got these from. Maybe Graphics Fairy, oh, maybe an Etsy shop, I'm not sure. And then um, a stamped cardstock. And then each one is like that. Collaged washi tape. And then those two images. The little bit of the book page in the back had that sweet lady, so I left that. All different papers, but still they all go together. Na nature is the most accomplished painter. This is from my Strokes of Nature kit. Just scraps I had. So there's that little pocket set. And then lastly is another pocket set. You tell I've been busy. This is just a set of two. Very similar to what we've been looking at. There's another little teeny printed People Image Club image and some washi tape. And then a stamped memories there. Oh, I have a knock at the door. Good time to go. I'll see you all in the next video. I hope you have an excellent day.